Hmm, can you edit MP4 files in Final Cut Pro? Yes! And this is everything you need to know about MP4s and Final Cut Pro. I'll show you how to import MP4 videos, then I'll share five tips for adding MP4 clips to your project, and at the end, I'll reveal a cool trick for adjusting the volume of your MP4 video clip in just one click. And before we do that, let's check out what Apple has to say. All right, I'm on Apple's website, and this is their webpage where they list out all the media formats that Final Cut supports. So here's the formats, lots of different formats, and if we go down here, we'll see the container formats, which is what MP4 is, and looky there. Sure enough, Final Cut Pro out of the box supports MP4. All right, let's add our MP4 files to Final Cut Pro. You can drag and drop it into the timeline or the browser right from Finder. And looky there, we have an MP4 file that plays right in Final Cut Pro, no conversion or anything. You can also go up here to File, Import, Select Media, or click this Import button right here, the down arrow. Or even quicker, just press Command-I to open up the Import window and then navigate to your MP4 files. You can select the MP4 files you want to import. You can't select sections of an MP4 file to import. You have to import the whole clip. So I'll select these two. I'm gonna add them to my tutorial event. And I'm gonna say, leave these files in place. And I wanna create optimized media out of those. I'll click import selected and I'll let Final Cut do its thing. So here are my clips in the browser and I can add my MP4 clips by dragging and dropping them into the timeline where I can select it move my playhead to where I want it to attach and press Q to attach it. I can also insert it wherever my playhead is with W, or I can overwrite what's in the timeline with D. If I want to add it to the end of my timeline, just select it and press E. So now our clip is at the end here. I can edit MP4 files like normal. I can change the duration by clicking and dragging on the end or start. I can also select it and press Control D to bring up the duration controls. And then I can enter a new duration. We'll do 200. Enter, that's two seconds long. Let's add the other clip. I'll select this and press E, and let's make both of these three seconds long. Aren't you so happy that Final Cut Pro supports MP4 files out of the box? I love it. If you love it and this video has been helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see the video? Thank you. Coming up in just a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the volume of your MP4 files in one click. But first, I wanna show you how you can move them around in the timeline. All right, I can move MP4 files around in my timeline just like normal, just click and drag to move them. Let's go up to the title browser here and go to build in and out, and let's add this fade title above our MP4 clips. We'll shorten it and we'll put our own text in there. I'll double click on it. There, I did it. <laughs> and we'll put in our own text. And then let's open up the inspector by clicking on this button here and going to the text inspector. Let's change our font and make it bigger and come down here to the face and let's change the color. MP4 for the win. All right, let's play it back. So titles work just fine with MP4 video files. Let's add an effect. Go to the effects browser, click on this button and go down to blur and let's add Gaussian blur to our middle clip and you'll see that it's blurry. So Final Cut effects work out of the box with MP4 files, no problems. We can also add transitions to MP4 videos. Click on the transition browser and find a transition you like. Let's go down here to movements and let's try this push. I'll drag and drop it in between two video clips and I'm gonna click on one of the handles and shorten it just a little bit. And here is our transition. I've got this clip here of a bad boy. It's getting arrested and I wanna change the volume. So I'll select the clip and then I'll drag up and down on this line while holding down command to decrease it by one decibel at a time or increase it by one decibel at a time. Another fast way to change the volume of an MP4 file is to hold down control and use plus or minus. I'll use minus to go down one decibel at a time or plus to increase one decibel at a time. And now we've got our volume set just perfectly. All right, now that you got your MP4 project ready, you can share it. Click on this share icon in the upper right corner and select your output. Go to settings and set it to computer. Let's go better quality. And we can see here that MP4 will be the exported container format. I'm gonna set action to just save only. I'll click next and we'll name it and save it. So as you can see, MP4s work perfectly with Final Cut Pro. Now that you've got your MP4 video clips into Final Cut Pro, I put together a list of my top 10 tools for editing videos in Final Cut Pro and made a video. Click here to check it out.